friendship with Gordon to the day, 11th of September 1957, when we, when we both started uh, work at Hardy Spices, and Enid came along some short time ago. I think Enid was already at Hardy Spices, and so Gordon and Enid... Uh, um, Margaret's been a friend of Joe's since uh, school. Yeah, so um, long time we've had quite a few friends and still have a lot of friends, but none of them had the staying power of uh, <laughs> Gordon and Enid and Margaret and Derek. <laughs> we keep trying to get him to get a passport so that should the occasion arise he can get back here, but for some reason or other, and I don't think he's being pursued by the police, but it is a possibility. Um, he, he, um, he is not here, so we would have liked him to be here. I would have liked him to be here because, um, sorry about this, I mean, this balloon's in the way. But I, it I would have liked him to have been here because Tom was instrumental in Joe and I meeting. Um, I think everybody, well, I won't say everybody knows the story, but just to cover it briefly, um, I went to junior school with somebody called Kevin Mannion, and we both passed to go to uh, St. Philip's, so naturally enough. We, we stayed together as friends and then shortly afterwards Kev moved to Baston Road in Kings Heath and he met up with um, Jeff Greaves, which is a name maybe some of you are familiar with, um, and Tom. And Jeff, Tom, Kev and I, in the age group from about 15 to 17, we were, I won't say we were uh, together as a unit, but we were as near as dummy together as a unit. We spent our time either playing cards, playing darts, or drinking all brights. That's how we spent our time, and I am not joking. Uh, no way have I spent about two and a half hours writing notes. <laughs> but following, so what what puts, did you? following what Pud said, I feel I ought to say something. <laughs> I would like to say and thank you very much for the 50 years. And I think I haven't been easy to cope with. <laughs> oh, no. My little problems of if I think I've got anything wrong with me, I'll say to put, what do you think, Put? And I always get the same answer. I'm an engineer, not a doctor. <laughs> oh, wait, that doesn't stop me still going back to him. But I think really he has coped with me very, very well. And I think, although we're complete opposites, 
that's probably the reason why we do get on well. Although, we, obviously, we've had our ups and downs like everybody. But he's absolutely right in the joy of my life has been having Michelle and Alison. And I think they're very, very fortunate. I've got two lovely son in laws who I'm very, very fond of. But the icing on the cake, as I don't have to tell you, are the grandchildren. They were absolutely adorable and they really given me a new lease of life. But I'm delighted to see you all. And again, I would like to thank Prud's family because they've always accepted me and been extremely kind to me and included me in everything they do. And our friends at the top, although we've got a lot of friends, they are the four most important friends. But I'd like to thank you all very much for coming and for your good wishes. And once again, to thank Prud for all the good life he's given me in the last 50 years. Oh, I would say that for not rehearse. No, <laughs> 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 <laughs>